Well, I just want to welcome everybody and say thank you for coming. I'm uh, Chip Carter with Fox 13. I want to thank Mayor Bob Buckhorn and obviously Annette, who has put together, I think, one of the most incredibly organized packets I have ever seen for this plant victory rally right here at City Hall. And I think before we get started, we do a program during the year, uh, My Fox Prep Football Friday, and I've seen the cheerleaders and I've seen the drum line, and I would love to, love to at least get the drum line as part of this as well. But, um, you know, there are a lot of schools in Hillsborough County that do everything the right way. And I was just talking to both coaches and the in principal, and I think that Plant High School is one of those programs that leads the way. Whenever I walk onto the campus, whether we're doing anything from academics to athletics, it always feels to me as if it's a college atmosphere. I mean, the coaches are personable, the players represent themselves very well both on and off the field, and it's always one of our favorite schools to visit and spend time with just because of the right way everybody does things. And that's a reflection of not only the athletic department and the school administration, but I think it's also a very strong reflex, a reflection of, of all the parents that are out here this afternoon as well, because without that kind of support, it just isn't gonna happen. So we've only got about half an hour, and I personally can hardly wait to see the mayor go up into that fire department bucket. <laughs> and we are trying to talk Coach Wiener into going. I think he's trying to slide out of that by nominating one of his captains. But uh, I would like to bring the mayor up for some quick remarks. Thanks, Jeff. You got it. Thanks. This is great, and thank you all very much for uh, taking time out of your schedule. I know it was tough to get out of school. I know you hated coming down here. <laughs> some of you got down here at 7 a.m. What's, what's up with that? So to everyone from Plan High, thank you very much. I can't tell you how proud we are of what you have done this year, but more importantly, what you do every day. It's, uh, an, ex it's an exciting time for me as the mayor. It's an exciting time for your city council member who represents South Tampa, Harry Cohen, who's right here. And I know it's an exciting time for all of you, both the athletes and the dancers, the band members, to be here today to celebrate what was a great year. It was a great year for the city of Tampa as well, and I will tell you, I don't get to watch a lot of TV, but I watched that plant football game. Right. <laughs> and that was a good game, and you made us proud. You really did. You stood up for what was right about this community. Back in the beginning when they said you couldn't make it, they said you weren't gonna win. They said you were too young, you were too small, you had had your chance. You said, okay. We'll see you on the field. And throughout this season, you overcame adversity every step of the way. And it was a team effort. You played as a team. There were no superstars. It was a team. And you proved that when you do it right, everything works out. And I know a little something about that. I know what it feels like when no one says you can win. But you guys made us proud. This women's cross country team, I see them going by my house every day, coach. Every day. I'm not inspired to go out and run yet. <laughs> but I'm working on it. I'm thinking about it, coach. I'm thinking about it. But you have set such a tradition in cross country under your leadership uh, that Plant is known throughout the country as a track and cross country machine. And to the young ladies that proved it once again that Plant High will rise to the occasion, you also have made us proud. And to these coaches, absolutely, give it up. And to these two coaches, these two young men, who get up every day to try and make the lives of young people a little bit better, to instill them what's right about athletics. I, I know, I was a Penn State lacrosse player. I know what having a great coach means, and I know what a role model it can be for young people as they go through challenging times in their lives. But to make sure that the young people understand what's good about athletics and that it's more about what happens off the field than what happens on the field. And I want you all to understand one thing. When you go off and leave Plan High and you go off to college, I want you to do a couple things for me. First of all, I want you to succeed. But more importantly, I want you to come home. I want you to come home to this great city that has raised you 
and that given you opportunities, to parents that love you and a community that needs you. But I also want you to remember this, more importantly, you represent Coach Weiner, you represent Coach Harrison, you represent this great high school, but more importantly, you represent this city. Don't ever lose sight of that. You're never off the clock. You are always carrying with you the hopes and the aspirations of your mom and your dad, but also the hopes and the aspirations of this city. So go be successful. Get it done. Remember this moment. Come home and make us proud. Thank you, Plan High, for giving this city a jolt like it hasn't had in a long time. We are so, so very proud of you, Coach Weiner, Coach Harrison, women's cross country, and the men's football. Now, I'm trying to get the coaches up in that bucket truck. <laughs> Have you ever heard Coach Weiner scream like a little girl? <laughs> I told him he's not going to hold my hand when we get up there. He's just not going to do it. So, Coach, you, all, you in? You're in. Come on, Coach. Uh... <laughs> First. Oh, he says he puts his players first. Well, don't worry. I'm not going to put you at risk, Coach. I promise you, I worked too hard to get here. <laughs> coach Harrison, you in? I'm in. Oh, he's in. Oh, now the pressure's on. <laughs> if I see either one of them trying to hold my hand up there. But to all of you, thank you. Thank you so very much to the parents that uh, have worked so hard on, to produce these young people and to do it the right way. We thank you. Uh, to all of the partners in this effort, the band, the cheerleaders, the rancheros, thank you for, uh, thank you for uh, all of your enthusiasm in making Plain High School such a great place. Uh, let's have fun today. I want to hear that band get cranked up. And uh, Chip, I guess I'm turning it back over to you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And I think, I think the public pressure we just created is going to make sure that Coach Weiner is going up in the bucket. So. There's, I know. <laughs> Plus, there's no way in front of Rob Nelson the coach is not going up. You know, the mayor touched on it briefly, but really, it really is a nice program. It really is effective to go over there. And, and Plant is a local school that's got a national reputation, and we see that all the time in sports. And obviously, that starts at the top. And I think it's time to bring in the man who starts it at the top, Rob Nelson. All right. Thank, thank you very much, and we're not here to see me. Obviously, we're here to see the coaches, the student athletes, uh, the parents. I just want to say thank you to, obviously, Chip Carter, the mayor, for having us today, to you know the, some of the unsung heroes, the cheerleaders, the danceros, the Pantherettes, the, the band who made the Friday nights electric at Plant, to the girls and Coach Harrison who... who through the summer just ran and ran and ran some more. Uh, and, and obviously Roy has won his 10th state title. And I don't think there's another coach who has that many, uh, definitely not in cross country. So uh, I want to say congratulations to them. I, I say this all the time in my meetings. I truly wake up every day and enjoy coming down to Plant. And, and to a last thank you, and that's because of the parents. Plant is a community school, and all the success is contributed to the parents in this community supporting the school. So thank you very much, and we'll turn it over to our coaches. I'd like to bring Roy Harrison up here. And obviously, when you win 10 of anything in any sport, you've gone beyond a dynasty. I mean, that's just a, a powerful, powerful program. And I think what you understand is once you start winning one championship, you've got a target on your back. Can you imagine winning 10 championships and the size of that target is that is now, especially when you consider how close the meet was this year for Plant to win it by two points, for a team that runs 40 miles a week in training, the dedication and the discipline, you know, it's just unbelievable. Roy Harrison. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for having us here today. It's, it's a great honor. Um, a lot of you don't know what cross country is. It's a 5K through all kinds of weather and sand and mud. One of our races this year, we ran in just a foot and a half of mud. Half the girls finished the race with no shoes on. They are tough, tough girls, and I want to thank them for putting up with me, first of all. Uh, they only get about a 
maybe three weeks, four weeks a year off from me, and the rest, they're pounding the roads. So I want to thank them. Uh, this was, like you said, our 10th state championship. We've qualified for the state championship 25 years in a row, and in those 25 years, we've been in the top five 21 times. So it, it takes a lot of work, a lot of dedication, and I'm just so proud to, to coach them. It's, it's my hobby, it's what I do, it's my life, and I love it. Thank you for having us here. Yeah, I cannot imagine. I cannot even run to the mailbox. And, Mayor, if you decide to do hit the streets, call me. Because I, I'm not a big runner myself. But <laughs> that's a problem. I feel like I'm always holding my breath. It is. And when you consider um, the job that Robert Wiener has done with Plant High School football, he has put it on the map. It's got a long way to go to catch up with Coach uh, Roy Harrison. You've got about six more, Coach. No pressure or anything. But... But there are very few coaches when you go to cover practice and you're talking to them on the field and you start to get sound bites from philosophers. But I think whatever he is doing, it clearly works at Plant High School. Uh, it's a local program, as I said, that now has a national reputation. I can go anywhere in the country and everybody knows the Plant Panthers. Let's bring him up, Robert Wiener. Yeah. All right, thank you all very much. I'd like to thank you all for coming out today. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, the mayor and city councilman, Chip Carter, uh, Annette, everyone who's put on this amazing event. Uh, we've been uh, happy enough to have been a part of it for four times, and uh, we'd like to make our way back here to these uh, hallowed halls as often as we possibly could and uh, be back here for years and years and years to come. Uh, the one thing I'd just like to pass along to you today is that we've heard a lot about Plant High School, but uh, it all starts uh, from the top. And, uh, our representatives at the top with Mr. Nelson and Ms. Figueredo uh, who help run the whole school and then our sports programs, but it really starts with a whole integration of everything. Uh, one thing we haven't talked about is that Plant High School is absolutely positively the finest academic institution that anyone could possibly go to. And we think that those things are connected. And we have one saying that we said all year for us in football, and that was we wanted to know what our point of separation was. What makes us different from everybody else? Because Roy knows that he's going to line up and they're going to run against people who are as good as they are. And we're going to line up and play football against people who are as good as we are. And what's going to separate us? We know that our great band line is going to go against other people who think that they're as good as they are. But no one's as good as our drum line is. We know that our cheerleaders, our danceros, and all of our band, Robert Shoes, the finest band director in the country, we know that people are going to line up and think that they're our equal. But we want to know what's the point of separation? What gets us just that little bit more? What puts us here today when other people can't be here today? What is that little bit? And what it is, is what we have on the back of our players' shirts, and that's the point of connection. Our players made a connection to one another this year. They found a way to realize that we're more than the sum of our parts. They found a way to realize that you can take one plus one, but when you put it together in a dynamic way, it doesn't just equal two. It equals something much stronger than that. That collectively on a Friday night with a band going and the cheerleaders cheering on, with our fans and parents in the stand, with unbelievable support, with my amazing coaches and our incredible players, we found out that collectively if you move together, you can do anything. You can do anything. And more than anything else this year, I'm proud to say that that's what my team is representative of. They're representative of the true word team. We don't have a bunch of huge name guys that are on the front of every magazine, but we have a bunch of guys who played their butts off every single day, worked as hard as they possibly could, and came together for one goal, and that one goal was the pride of Plan High. And so we stand here today as a point of separation by our point of connection to all of you for one reason, and that's the pride of Plan High and the pride of this city under Mayor Buckhorn's guidance, the pride of the city of Tampa. Thank you very much. Right. Let's start with Danielle Kissel. 
Danielle, come on up. Kara Halfaker. Julia Rodriguez. Scarlett Fox. Caroline Gibson. Erica Oosterhout. Anna Montgomery. Katherine Ralston. All state champions. Congratulations in one of the most demanding and toughest physical sports. All right, let's go right into the Plant Panther football team. Class 8A state champions, Dakota Velasquez. Dakota. Dakota. Come on, guys. Antonio Crawford. Antonio Crawford. Wesley Bullock. Paris Bostic. Drew Madu. Daniel Caselli. Kyle Grow. Derek Mann. James Few. JT Faircloth. Trey Holtz. Kyle Ploucher. Aaron Banks. Sam Glickman. Keenan Stalls. Brad Von Amen. Curtis Ford. David Larum. Jake Buxton. William Bowles. Caleb Hasley. Thomas Heiston. Alex Jackson. Justin Watts. Eric Juarez. Justin McDowell. Bruce Fallon. Mark Merrill. James Reed. Patrick Wright. John Holmes. Tate Rogers. Tyvan Sunday. Joey Castle. Joey Casale. Andrew Beck. Reeves Rogers. James Helm. Sammy El Salah. Jack Mitchell. Wade Snyder. Terrence Jenkins. Trip Lawson. Jake Fernandez. William Few. Tommy Hankin. Evan Deffendahl. Zach Seberg. Sam Greaves. Charles Shorter. Michael Pepe. Michael Dvornik. Mike Tate. Stone Barley. Donovan Carley. Gage Stokes. Chris Joyner. Quinn Matoyer, Max Augustin, Joseph Kinellan, Doug Bona, Jonathan Haney, Ryan Desort, Gator Farrier, Ray Warner, Dijon Washington. Cruz Chambers, Richie Kleppel, Denton Dowell, Ray Watt Rollerson, Brendan Kellum, Yancey Zackerel, no Yancey, Richard Bush, Chase Main, Nathan Shinley, Aaron Aikens, Cameron Winter, Walker Barnes, Trey Verino, Avery Jordan, Austin Aikens, KJ Walker, Kareem Martin, Austin Roberts, Chase Mile, 
Alberto Gonzalez, Michael Harlow, Hayden Roberts, Levante Dukes, Max Baker, James Statton. We'll let the line catch up a minute. Dustin Kurth, Mitchell Wright, and Aleel Shines. These are your two state champions, the cross country girls team and the Plant Panther football team. Drumline, crank it up. <laughs>